Hello, my name is Barbara Nelson. I'm the Vice President of Application Engineering at Influx Data. And I'm here today with Samantha to talk about Telegraph. And I'm Samantha Wang, and I'm a Product Manager here at Influx Data. So Samantha, what's Telegraph? So Telegraph is Influx Data's open source data collection agent. It's written in Go. It's a single binary that doesn't require any external dependencies. And it also has a minimal memory footprint. So it can be downloaded on kind of the smallest of your devices. It can be used on your at-home sensors, or it can be used in a lot of our customers' use cases in large enterprise environments um, for whatever your monitoring solution is. Fascinating. How does it work? Let's take a look at this diagram over here. At the top, we have whatever. These are the, represent the data sources that you want to collect your data from and you want to get into InfluxDB. So Telegraph will read that data directly from these data sources and then output it to InfluxDB, where you can take that raw data and utilize all the tools in the InfluxDB platform, such as Flux, visualizations, and tasks. Uh, as I mentioned, Telegraph is a plugin-based uh, um, system. So we, it contains four types of plugins. Um, input plugins, processors, and aggregators, and output plugins. Uh, Telegraph has hundreds of input plugins that take read-in data directly from the source, such as really common IoT plugins, um, such as MQTT, Modbus, OPC UA, um, as well as networking plugins, such as SNMP, GNMI, um, as well as cloud plugins as well, CloudWatch, Google PubSub, Azure Event Hubs. And so once that data is read in, it utilizes its processors and aggregators to kind of transform your data to however you want. Um, so you can use it to uh, decorate, you can use it to drop met metrics if you want, and once you get that data to what you want it to look like, you can use the output plugins to write to your data source, in this case, into InfluxDB Cloud. So why would a developer want to use it? Data collection is really the most important thing on using a database. It's also the first step and often the hardest step that, that developers run into when getting started with a database. And so Telegraph really aims to lower that kind of difficulty barrier. Um, it's a relatively low code solution, no coding required besides kind of changing your a configuration file. Um, and it also contains a lot of features that developers normally need to program and script, can often spend long hours to, to do, such as a robust scheduler. Uh, it contains high, high speed data ingestion to read data at the nanosecond level. Um, and yeah, and it contains, I think, a big benefit as well is those processors and aggregators and, and being able to clean up that data to exactly what you want it to look like when it reaches the database. So you're not spending time in your database cleansing your data to get it however you want to just even get it to the state that you want it to be in. And where can I run it? So you can run Telegraph basically anywhere. We try to build for kind of the most common of platforms and architectures. But if you don't see a build that you want, uh, you, Telegraph is 100% open source, so you can um, custom build to whatever fits your, your needs. Wow. So talking of custom needs, what if I'm unlucky? What if the, uh, or I've got a very special use case um, for my application and it doesn't match any of the plugins. Am I out of luck? No, you're not out of luck. Um, this is actually something really common where people, if, there's, if they have a really ob obscure use case, if they want to get data directly from somewhere that, that we don't have a plugin for quite yet, they'll write their own plugin. And they can use actually something what we call execd to use all those benefits of the Telegraph agent that I mentioned. They can write an external plugin in, their, in whatever language. It doesn't actually have to even be in Go. And they can use it with Telegraph and uh, kind of you, once again utilize all those benefits of, of that time to awesome of getting data quickly into InfluxDB so they can spend more time here getting information and insights um, from their wow. raw data. That sounds really cool. So there you hear about it, what you can use Telegraph for. We're very interested to see how you use Telegraph in your application. <laughs>